Good morning, colleagues. Good morning, press. My name is Geoffrey Feta, as I introduced myself earlier. I'm the chairperson of West Nile Parliamentary Caucus. West Nile Parliamentary Caucus official press statement on the closure of Karuma Bridge and the alternative routes for travelers from northern Uganda. On 23rd September 2024, Ministry of Works and Transport closed the Karuma Bridge for all motorists to allow for major rehabilitation of the bridge. The traffic from West Nile and other parts of northern Uganda was then diverted to Kafu, Masindi Town, Kenyara Town, Biso, down to Albertine Rift Valley in the Bulisa district to access the national park through Bugungu Gate in the western part of the national park. The route from Masindi through Chikomanyombo Gate to Tangi via Para was exclusively reserved for tourists and travelers who can pay, but only light private vehicles and buses. While as members of West Nile Parliamentary Caucus, we appreciate the decision to close the bridge for rehabilitation, we have noted with the concern that the alternative route through Kafu, Masindi Town, Kenyara Town, Biso, down to Albertine River Rift Valley, and to the National Park has led to increased cost of transport for the people and the goods by about 35%. The commercial and private vehicles have been diverted to long, insecure route with the unmotorable sections. The increased cost of transport for goods has led to increased increase in the prices of commodities like sugar, cooking oil, rice, construction and general merchandise. This is likely to have a negative impact on the economy of greater northern region and West Nile in particular and other parts of the country. This may lead to increased influx of smuggled goods in the markets in West Nile, depriving government from revenue. The restrictions of the travel time between 7 a.m to 7 p.m. through Tangi Chikomanyombo Gate has led to additional costs in accommodation on either sides of the National Park and risks of overspeeding by travelers to beat the timeline of exiting through <coughs> the park. Charges on both passengers and private vehicles transiting through Masindi Chikomanyombo Paratangi Gate and vice versa and the bureaucratic pro procedures of accessing UA exit gates and the roads that pass through the park affect travelers in the park. Therefore, West Nile Parliamentary Caucus urges the government to intervene to address the plight of the travelers from northern Uganda as follows. 